yeah peeps it's the real fishing kings of jamaica here again you know um yesterday i've made a fish gun um to show you guys because i needed one well i already have one but it's a bit too long for the reef so i've decided on making a short one you know but um i'm no carpenter people so if you do see false it's my first time making a fish gun it's my first time doing any form of carpenter work you know so I'm rolling those clips for you guys, so enjoy. Alright, so this is just now we are going to um, take the measurement of the board. Uh, so and face, see how much length you are going to need for yours. Yeah. This are the, the trigger mm -hmm. we actually did the work on from with the other day. Because I'm um, actually get the belly with the one old gun we mash up already. So um, we just build a casing feet. I have the casing remake. You must have this year work with to the people. New fish gun I work on. No, my mark out there so you figure for She's yours, she's not mine. And so support for the chigger. I think that's a Chicago. So right here may have the angle cut out. Um soon get it screwed on. So I'm gonna screw it down and then have the the groove from my finger them cut out after. Alright, so just the hole left for drill here so drill the hole here so and smooth up somewhere and then place on. Huh? Smooth and place it somewhere. Alright, so for the angle now, we we'll cut the groove then for the angle, which not finished up yet. So we are gonna um some hand can fit, some hand can fit. Now the groove them comfortable. Yeah, so, and so that is it. So she got go in here so fill out them place huh? fill it top back. I feel like about them place they are getting some seal and thing. So the head off of the screw break here so so me tuck it from the underneath piece or so. So peep, this is how far the gun reach. So I'm putting the trigger I'm to show me make earlier. The trigger I'm showing make earlier. Fit fit down the night. You know. So I use this for because I close the muzzle um, gun that I make, so we just have to improvise. So I just use this, put this on the top for this falling, help holding the spear. Yeah, man, so there it is. It's all far each. For years, so I'm not going to use the rubber for good shape. I'm going to use a card. Because I feel like I get more out of the rubber that way. I'm going to use a card, push through the card, and um, tie a card one in and then the card the next in to hold the spear. Me to me, I feel like for me it work as if I get more um, power out tight that way. So, this is it.
here. So when we do this, you know, just make sure we sun it down so that the, gro the, the groove, everything kind of align to the side, the edges. So when we finish them, I get some, um, some fill and fill up them, them edges here with the glue and some fine dust. So yeah, that may go do now. And then finish rub it out. Some cracks where make some bad cuts from before. Now can fill out those as well and, and rub it back out. Yeah, so we are get the the seal on you know. So I'll polish it with the sealer. I want a new fish on this. First time I make a spear gun. It's a good look. I look well and I say to myself, hmm? if I blow it, if I keep it, you can't have to be afraid of That now is it. You know? I have time till I know. You think I'm around this man and see shop open and lock it up? Yeah, the van is going. Oh, yeah, I forgot to change your padlock. Oh, it's look oh, good. Man, one of them have it. You see that, you see that lock here burning? I'm going tell you about that lock here. You see this? See the key? Alright peeps, so this is the finished product of the gun after it was a sealer and the varnish on it. Alright, this is the finished product. So, what I'll be doing now is having the trigger installed now into it. So, we install the trigger and then have it wedge so i'll show you that when it, when i'm done all right peeps so this is what i'm talking about now i have the rubber set up so i'm gonna shave the edges them better than this um this spear is not for this gun because i had a smaller gun earlier and so this spear is sharp it may can see the use may can see the use but it's a bit sharp so this is the finished product Okay, so I'm going to start out that. So it's been a long two days of work, making sure that everything is alright. I think even the spear, you know, I uh, bought the, the steel and cut um, these tips well done, and then I cut the groove. Even the, the groove that's here. Cut the groove, cut the groove that's right here so it can fit in the trigger properly. But yeah. You hear that? Select. Okay, thank you for watching. Yeah guys, so like, share like, and leave share. a comment down below. Until then, see you next time. Good job. Say bye-bye.